Hey, I'm Kelsey, creator of the InDesign Field Guide, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what overset text is in Adobe InDesign and how to fix it. Let's go. So when you're working with text in Adobe InDesign, you may notice sometimes a small red plus sign icon that can show up in the bottom right corner of your text box right here. This indicates an overset text error, which just means there's more text in your frame, but some of it's being cut off due to the size of the frame. You can also see this error indicated in the bottom toolbar here where it says one error. If we double click on that, it opens something called the pre-flight window. And pre-flight is just a feature of InDesign where it comes through your entire document in real time and checks for errors like overset text or broken links or missing fonts or things like that. So if you notice this error in the pre-flight window but you're not quite sure which text box it's talking about, because you didn't notice a red plus sign, you can click these drop downs to reveal where the text frame is and what page it shows up on. And if you click that page number, it will jump you right to that spot and highlight the text box that's giving the error. So how do we fix overset text? Well, there's a few different ways. The first one is to simply click and drag your anchor point of your text box to reveal the hidden text and give it enough space so it all shows up. An even easier way to do this is to double click on any anchor point where you want to expand the text box to the exact size of the text. So I'll double click here and it will automatically reveal the missing text and cut off the text frame just right on the edge of it. And this works for any anchor point. You could do the same thing horizontally with a double click and an extended text box. And the last way you can do this works great for columns. So let's shorten our text box to a more narrow column here and we'll get our red plus sign showing that there's overset text. So you can actually click right on the plus sign and your cursor will turn into this icon that kind of looks like a tiny little paragraph. And then you can click and drag and draw a second text box and let go and it will automatically accommodate all of that overflow text. And the text will flow perfectly from one column to the next. You'll see our red plus sign is gone, our error down in the pre-flight notifications are gone, and now these two text boxes are connected. And even if I change the size, the text still flows perfectly from one to the other. If you want more Adobe InDesign training, watch my free workshop where I break down the most popular design apps and programs and show you when it's best to use each one. Psst, you can do way more with InDesign than you probably realize. Plus, I'll walk through exactly how to design a PDF worksheet and promo graphic from start to finish using only InDesign. Click that first link in the description below to watch the free workshop right now. Go ahead, click it. You know you want to.